Deborah James inspired a nation throughout her final days as she continued to live her life to the fullest prior to her tragic death on Tuesday. The podcast host's loved ones shared the sad news that the mum of two had died at the age of 40 via a statement on social media, following a five-year battle against stage 4 bowel cancer. Her family have led tributes to the most amazing wife, daughter, sister, mummy as they confirmed she passed away surrounded by her nearest and dearest. Deborah was initially diagnosed with stage 4 bowel cancer back in December 2016, at 35 years old, and since then campaigned passionately to raise vital funds and awareness. Last month the mum of two told fans the time has come to say goodbye from her parents' home where she was receiving end-of-life care, but continued to inspire with her fundraising efforts and zest for life. During her final few weeks Deborah was a guest of honor at events like Royal Ascot and the Chelsea Flower Show, as well as playing host to the future King of England in her garden as she received her damnhood last month. The BBC podcast presenter flashed a beaming smile for the cameras at Royal Ascot on June 15, days after she candidly opened up about the realities of still living whilst dying. The late star looked chic and stylish at Ascot Racecourse in a polka dot mini dress and eye-catching oversized hat, as she attended the annual event with family, accessorizing with some statement white shoes, complete with gold detailing, and a matching white clutch bag. Deborah posed for pictures with the likes of Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford as she enjoyed the star-studded racing event just two weeks before her sad death was announced on Tuesday. The cancer awareness campaigner discussed her love of still attending events and parties while she was able to prior to her passing, but admitted it could be a struggle at times. Deborah discussed how much of a challenge it was to enjoy still living whilst dying after a trip to the RHS Garden Wisley in Surrey. Anyone that's followed me for years knows that the British season is my favorite time of the year hence why all my adult style dresses are named after events. So I figured my aim is just try to fit in a few whilst time still kicking around and am able to. Deborah told her Instagram followers earlier this month. But be under no illusion. I'm knackered. I've worked out it takes me longer to get ready and organized to go than the time I actually last anywhere. Getting dressed is tiring, getting meds organized is tiring, the extra moving, the travel, the wondering what mood your stomach is in, it's all real. But then the feeling of making it to something you didn't think possible, having put makeup on, donning new shoes, that finally arrived in the right size for massively swollen feet, with the sunshine smiling, well then it's all worth it. It's a kind of cheeky still living whilst dying two fingers up to it all. In May, Deborah paid a visit to the Chelsea Flower Show in London this week to celebrate a new rose that has been created in her honor. The later star was honored by the Hartness Rose Company who created a special rose, with proceeds of sales of the rose going to charity. Flowers are a reminder of our future, she said while viewing the roses at Chelsea Flower Show. We plant the seed not knowing what we might see grow. Being around nature gives us a lift and it is a reminder that life continues to blossom, even in some of the hardest places, and brings a smile to all of our faces, even in the hardest of times, particularly mine. Deborah was captured on camera by the BBC arriving at the flower show where she could be heard exclaiming this is amazing as she arrived to see the rose. The presenter of the BBC podcast You, Me and the Big C, went on to reveal her hope that the rose named after her will feature in her daughter's wedding bouquet one day in the future. It makes me sad but it fills me with so much joy that this rose can now be bred for years and years to come, the star told The Sun when discussing the floral honor. Maybe one day Eloise will choose to have it in her wedding bouquet. 
One of Deborah's final Instagram posts came about last week, when the inspiring star celebrated the news that sales from her fashion line within the style has so far raised £1 million in funds for her Bow Babe Fund and Cancer Research. The Mom of Two's collaboration with the fashion brand features a rebellious hope t-shirt, a mantra the campaigning star said got her through the last few years and it's what is keeping me going now prior to her death. I got a lovely little visit yesterday from the at Inc style founder at FR15 by and his partner at VJ McCorbett who brought this lovely check and we have had a little toast to celebrate it. Deborah captioned a snap of herself alongside in the style founder Adam Frisbee and his partner in her garden on June 20. I just can't believe it. What's funny is when at Inc style released the first t-shirt we both said how incredible £50,000 raised would be so for me to still be here and see it's over pound one mil is just so incredible. In the wake of Deborah's death being announced on Tuesday night, the late star's bowel fund fund saw a spike in donations, with the total raised creeping towards the £7 million mark. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29